In the previous video, I discussed the physics chapters of class 11th and 12th, which you can study in class 9th and 10th itself, especially in relation to J. Right? Today we are going to talk about the mathematics chapters which are relevant in J, which you can still study in class 9th and 10th, which are easy to understand, or you can still be able to grasp them and do well in those chapters. Okay? Uh, I'll give you a list, but before that, if you are new to the channel, do consider subscribing and pressing the notifications. I'm not saying this for subscribers. I'm saying this because if you don't do this then these videos will not be suggested to you. So if you like these videos, if you want to do well in your J examination, do subscribe and press the notifications. So let's start with the first point. If we talk majorly, okay, then you can do your class 11th fully. Okay, your class 11th NCRT, you can study fully. Now I will give you a chapter wise walkthrough of which things are more important. So in the first part of class 11th, there is a whole introduction to maths kind of a section where you study set relations, functions, you study a bit about maybe inequalities, a bit about algebraic identities, a bit about graphs, logarithms and all of those small small topics. Okay. Uh, in coaching classes, this chapter is separately taught but in 11th NCRT also there is like one or two chapters dedicated to just this. So I highly recommend that that should be the first chapter it, because it's the sequence and because it's important as well. Okay. Uh, one thing which I advise every J aspirant to do is that whenever they decide of studying chapters of class 11th and 12th, the first thing they should start is the beginning of class 11th because when you go from 10th to 11th that is the biggest mental block okay because you will most of you will not be able to understand the 10th to 11th gap once you are past that gap once you understand the first uh, 3 4 3 4 chapters of all subject then everything becomes easier okay so if you can clear those chapters in 9th 10th itself nothing can be better than that which is why the first chapter i suggest is that then you have these quadratic and your sequence series that is also good basically algebra portion that you should study it's easy it's relevant and uh, they are quite uh, i mean they have a good weightage especially in class 11th okay then we move on to trigonometry that chapter you can study completely you should study it then we have binomial uh, and pnc that is a bit different from what you must have studied till now but again i suggest that you should it's understandable it's nothing out of the world okay then we have straight line conic section that section also i suggest you should study now some of you can find the conic section part a bit difficult you can skip that but at least straight line you should know straight line and circle okay then there is a section which is optional which you can skip if you want to which is your differentiation uh, limits and differentiation differentiation or limits okay most of the coachings they teach this chapter in class 12th okay and coming to the basics of in uh, of this uh, calculus you study that in physics anyway so i don't think this is relevant in class 11th you can study the ncrt if you want for marks but that is easy you will anyway be able to do it okay it, like class 11 differentiation limits is basically common sense okay there's nothing too much in it and uh, like even in most coaching this is taught in class 12th only like at least i was taught all of this in class 12th okay so this is a section of class 11th which you can safely skip okay and then there are some, you know, short mode chapters like statistics and mathematical using that also you can skip. So the main chapters which I highlighted in class 11th were sequence series, quadratic, uh, trigonometry, straight line, circles, PNC, binomial and probability. Okay. And uh, the basics of mathematics at least. Now in class 12th, do you have to, like, should you study something in class 12th? I think we should not because... Uh, First of all, even this much is a lot of syllabus, okay, because you have other subjects as well, right? So in chemistry also, I will make the chapter list, but in physics, I have told you that uh, at least the mechanics portion, some of the chapters I told you, at least, I think I told you seven, eight chapters of mechanics, all of those should be known. So you can first study them, then you can study your class 11th NCRT for maths, then I will tell you chemistry chapters also in next video, so stay subscribed. But still, if you still get the time or you are too much into mathematics, I can tell you some chapters of class 12th, which you can start, okay? So one chapter which I will definitely not suggest to you is calculus, okay? Calculus you should not do in class 9-10. The reason for this is because this is not used in any exam at all. It is not asked in Maths Olympiad, it is not asked in Physics Olympiad, it is not asked in IJSO, it is not asked in Astronomy, it is not asked in NTAC, nothing, nowhere it is useful. Whereas if you study Physics well, then it can still be very useful to you if you want to do some Olympiad. If you study Chemistry, that can still be useful. If you study these class 11 topics, these can still be useful for next year and also for any Olympiads and all. But this portion will never be useful to you. So you can skip it. So what are some chapters which you can consider studying? So one chapter is inverse trigo, inverse trigonometry. Now this, why am I suggesting this chapter? This is not a very important chapter, but it is quite related to the trigonometry chapter. Okay. And it is easy. So you can study this chapter. 
then you can study complex numbers as well okay complex numbers is an important chapter i wouldn't call it the most difficult chapter but it has a lot of concepts which you might find interesting so that also you can study matrix and determinants another chapter which you can consider studying okay these are all chapters which you can study now uh, in some coachings uh, there is a conic sections part 2 called tangents and normals which is class part, which is taught in class 12 so if you are coaching operators like that that also you can study okay basically you have to skip the calculus portion that is all i am asking and that is majority of class 12 okay uh, and even that vectors and all you should skip because i don't think you should be studying vectors in class 9 10th so in uh, if you see clearly i have told you mostly to study only class 11 syllabus 12th you should not because in mathematics i don't think it makes any sense for you guys to study mathematics class 12th right now it makes zero sense if you have the proclivity to study class 12th stuff then study physics that is what i would suggest because that is actually useful to you so i hope you found this video useful if you want more help with your j prep then you should check out our j foundation course which is linked in the description section below you can get it on our app or on our website this course is everything you need for your class 9 10th for your olympiads which are held in class 9 10th for uh, j early preparation in which we will teach you not only class 9 10th we will also make you like we will help you cross that road between 10th and 11th and we will teach you some chapters of class 11th as well this is a completely recorded course at demand you can study any time you want just log in choose any chapter you want study at your own convenience okay it has test series dbp everything in it is there check the description link and i ro i hope you found this video useful good luck